This video demonstrates how to use the recent earthquakes map on the Oklahoma Geological Survey's website. To access the map, click the image. First, let's get comfortable navigating. Click and drag to pan around. To zoom is either the mouse wheel or the plus and minus buttons in the upper right hand corner. There's also the option to make it full screen. The circles are earthquakes. Circle size represents relative magnitude, with larger circles representing greater magnitude earthquakes. Color indicates how recent each earthquake was. Red for earthquakes that occurred within the past 24 hours, orange for the past seven days, and yellow for the past 30 days. You can click on a circle to view that earthquake's data. This shows things such as magnitude, time, and location. You can also click on the Did You Feel It? This Earthquake link to go to the USGS website's page on Did You Feel It? Here you can report an earthquake. The triangles are seismic stations. These are the devices the Oklahoma Geological Survey has installed throughout the state to enable monitoring seismic activity. You can click on a triangle to view the seismic station's name. In this case, I'm looking at SC19. Additionally, click Last 24 Hours to view a helicorder of data from that station for the past 24 hours. To read a helicorder, understand that each horizontal line of data represents 60 minutes. So each line represents each hour over the past 24 hours. Time runs from top to bottom and left to right, just as you'd read a book. This means the most recent recording is at the bottom right, so right here in this case. Earthquakes are indicated by yellow stars that are labeled with a magnitude. In this case, this magnitude 3 earthquake started at approximately 1013 UTC. As you can see, seismic stations detect much more than earthquakes. These other signals, which we refer to as noise, could be anything that generates ground vibrations, from construction equipment to a cow walking nearby a station. Scientists use a variety of observations to determine when, where, and how large an earthquake was, in addition to other details such as how the responsible seismic fault moved to generate the earthquake. It's important to note that these helicopters show time in UTC, not local time. To view local time for the earthquake you're interested in, refer to the info panel that pops up when you first click on the earthquake in the recent earthquakes map. Here you can see that both UTC and local time are shown. So that earthquake we were looking at occurred at approximately 1013 UTC. That is 513 local time. I hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching.